Well, Ethan Stokes here with Lake Pro Tackle and following up with one of our requests we got on social media is how to rig a beaver style bait with an EWG style hook and also a straight shake flipping hook. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do with any hook when you're rigging a plastic, you always wanna lay it out and get an idea of where you want that hook to come out of the bait and go back in later. So on this bait, I'm gonna take that eyelet and put it just inside the head. So I'm gonna go down about a quarter of an inch before I take it out the first time. So I'll thread it through at the head of the bait, go down about a quarter of the inch, push it right back out the bottom. You're gonna slide that hook shank all the way through, get a little twist, pull that eyelet just inside the bait. Then again, I'm gonna double check and see where that hook's gonna lay smooth and keep that plastic nice and straight. And we're gonna bend it over, put the hook point through. Then the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm always gonna skin hook it just a little bit. That way I just keep it nice and smooth and keep it coming through cover without getting snagged up. So that's your EWG hook. This is a four out gamakatsu, which is kind of a pretty versatile all around hook size and great for flipping, pitching and cover. Now the next hook is gonna be one I use more when I'm fishing grass or any type of heavy matted cover of some sort. It's gonna be your straight shake flipping hook. And you're gonna start off rigging it the same way as you do the, is the EWG. So I'm gonna thread it through the head of the bait. And this one I'm gonna come through just about the same spot as I did with that other hook. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread it through. I'm gonna get a little turn and get that little keeper. There's that little monofilament keeper on this one and put it right there and let the bait, hold the bait onto the hook. Now I'm gonna lay that hook shank back across. And this time I'm gonna try to keep most of this hook buried inside the plastic. I'm not gonna push it all the way through. So I'm gonna come in from a little bit further back and thread it on through the middle of the bait. And I'm just barely gonna let that hook point come out the front. So that way it's still super smooth. You don't really hook yourself. If you run your hand over it or cover, but yet when you set the hook on a fish, it'll fold that plastic down, that big hook will come right through the top. So that's how you read the two. Good luck out there.